What's going on guys? Today's video is going to be kind of a part two of the video I came out with a couple weeks back where I transformed my entire Lego room. As you can see, uh, it used to be super cluttered and now it's a much more functional space for filming YouTube videos, building Lego, all sorts of stuff. But in that video, I mentioned uh, getting a shelf from Ikea to display a lot of my larger sets because I still had a couple sets just on the ground. So um, I actually just got that shipment in the mail. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open that up and start putting it together. This is actually the giant Pax wardrobe. Uh, I got one of these, which I'm going to put over here in this corner, replacing this shelf. So I'm gonna say goodbye to this boy. And then I have six of the shelves to go into the Pax wardrobe, which I think it might be a little bit too many shelves. I don't know, we'll have to see when I get everything on there, but um, I want to be able to put the UCS Falcon, the UCS Star Destroyer, and the Death Star on there for sure. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and put this together. So I got the frame of the shelf finally put together and I've been messing around with um, the shelves here and then I have a lot of other sets as well that I will be putting on these shelves as well. So let's go ahead and do a time lapse and uh, see what I come up with. All right, guys, so believe it or not, I was actually able to fit all of my remaining Lego sets on to this massive shelf. Um, and if you're wondering what shelf this is, this is actually a PAX wardrobe from Ikea. Um, this is like literally the only thing that is deep enough to hold stuff like the UCS Millennium Falcon, the UCS Star Destroyer, um, because I was thinking about getting some Billy shelves, which are only like 11 inches deep. Um, but those wouldn't be able to hold my larger sets. So I ended up getting a wardrobe and then you can just buy the shelves separately. So that's what I ended up doing and it worked out perfectly. So as you can see on the bottom shelf, we've got the Death Star, we've got the UCS Imperial shuttle there, and then we've got a couple ships just scattered about that I didn't really uh, have any other space to put. Then on the second shelf, I've got pretty much all of my smaller ships and starfighters. So in the back, we've got the uh, Marauder, the Bad Batch shuttle. And then we've got the Mandalorian starfighter, the older version. We've got the U-Wing, we've got the TIE Striker, Obi-Wan's starfighter, which just came out this year. And then the Mandalorian, or the Darth Maul Mandalorian speeder there. And then got two of the Republic fighter tanks. This is the actual set, and then this is the version that I modded. Um, I actually made a video about that uh, a while back, so if you wanna check that out, I will have it linked in the description. Then in the back, we've got the AT-AP. We've got some Jedi Starfighters, and then the AAT here up front. But I, I don't think it looks too bad up here, but I just kinda wanted to categorize all of these smaller ships down into one shelf. So that's what I came up with. Then on the third shelf, we've got the UCS Imperial Star Destroyer. This set I originally had on the very bottom shelf, but I didn't really like the way that looked. But once I put it on a middle shelf, it looks a lot better, especially from eye level. So I decided to keep this one here. I think that's gonna be its final spot. And then we've got the Smaller uh, 2014 Imperial Star Destroyer down there. We've got the Avengers Tower in the very back, and then the ATST as well. Then on to the fourth shelf, we've got the UCS Millennium Falcon. I'm really happy with how this looks. It just fits so perfectly into this shelf. Then we've got the Death Star Final Dual Set in the very back there, and then BB-8. 
uh, to the right of the UCS Falcon. Then on the fifth and final shelf, I've kind of got a hodgepodge of different things. So in the very back, I have the Ewok Village. And then up towards the front, I have some like Harry Potter stuff that I really thought was cool and wanted to display, like the older Hogwarts Castle. And then actually the new version of the burrow up here. I've also got the Benatar or the um, Guardians of the Galaxy ship. Then we've got some of my collectible minifigures there for Harry Potter. The very back, you can kind of see, is the Parisian restaurant. And then we've also got the Friends Central Perk set to the left of the Parisian restaurant. You can kind of see it peeking through there. Um, but yeah, just kind of a hodgepodge of different things on this last shelf. I, I was thinking about putting the Superstar Destroyer on there, but I decided that this was a good enough resting spot for that so we've got the at, -AT here with the super star destroyer and then the custom star destroyer down here and then planning on building the office set over here pretty soon and then i'm going to eventually put that over here into this empty space and then i also put this boba fett um, helmet down here next to the seinfeld set so we've got both of the helmets like sort of in the same area there so i really like the way that looks but overall i think it looks pretty solid oh and i almost forgot i put all of these minifigures up here that i have in this display case this is actually one of those display cases you can mount on the wall but i didn't really want to do that like right now so i just decided to you know throw it up here and i don't think it looks too bad and then behind that we have the moss Eisley cantina set like a lot of these sets, I, I feel kind of bad because they're kind of just like shoved in the back and you can't really even see them. But I honestly don't really know where else I would put these sets. But yeah, overall, I am loving this new shelf. It looks incredible. And I'm especially really happy that I can display my larger sets like the UCS Falcon, the UCS Star Destroyer, the Death Star, the UCS Imperial Shuttle. Overall, I think it looks really good and I am really really happy with how it came out all right guys that's going to do it for today's video thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video as always make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new here hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i will catch you in the next video peace out